Greetings faculty and welcome to another WIST technology tutorial. Today's topic is inserting images in Moodle. Now we've all been there. We found the perfect image to include in our Moodle page. And when we put it in there, all of a sudden our page just gets all out of whack. Well, what's happening? Well, you have to be conscientious of the size of the images that you're putting in Moodle. So I have here a picture with Mount Everest in the background um, that is custom sized to 600 pixels wide. So I'm going to take you through a process of locating a photograph, resizing it, and then importing it into Moodle, as well as adding the very important photo credits at the bottom. So let's get started. Let me first delete this image I've inserted. Okay, so here in topic five, I am going to insert an image. So the first thing I have to do is go look for that image. Okay, and a site that I really like to go browsing for image images is Photopen. Um, this is what the home page looks like. It's very simple to look at. And I just typed in Mount Everest. Now, notice on the left here, it uh, gives me some license type filters. So I'm, I'm looking for non-commercial type photos. Um, I'm not sure how they calculate interestingness, but I think Mount Everest is interesting. OK, so this is the photo that I had in my Moodle page. Um, and I can click on Get Photo. It's going to present some options to me. So notice if I download this original size, okay, it's going to be way too big, okay. So I actually have an option to choose something that'll fit into my Moodle page a little bit, uh, you know, much much better. But in order to demonstrate the process of changing the size, I'm actually going to download this big one. All right, so I have downloaded the, the image. Now the next step is to actually open that image in preview. So here is the image I have opened in preview. Um, it's actually extremely large and it doesn't look that way, but actually it, it is very large. And if I put this into Moodle, I'm not going to do it. It's going to very much extend the width of my Moodle page to a state where it'll be, be almost un, unusable. So in order to resize this photo, I'm going to click on, uh, I believe it's under Tools. Yeah, here it is, Tools. And we're going to adjust the size. So imagine this being 1,920 pixels wide, when in that center column of Moodle, um, it's definitely not that large. So I think you can probably get away with roughly 600 pixels. I'm just going to put in uh, 500 pixels. And notice how it constrains the uh, proportions automatically, so you don't have to do any of the math to maintain sort of the, the, the proper proportions of the photo. So I'm actually going to resize it and, and click OK. Now, to the human eye, this seems like, well, this is awfully small. This is way too small for what I want on Moodle, but it's actually not. You know, It's actually the right size, maybe even big. Um, so you can't really see this as the actual size that students will see the image on Moodle, OK? So, I'm going to go ahead and rename and save this photo on the desktop. And I'm just going to call it Everest. There it is. So now I want to embed this, <coughs> excuse me, I want to embed this image in my Moodle page. I'm going to click on an, op on an open topic block. So here in topic five, I can click that little wrench 
And then here in the editing block, this is the insert image button. So now I'm just going to click find or upload an image. I'm going to choose the file attachment. So then I'll navigate back to my desktop. There's the photo. I notice the dimensions, uh, 500 by 667 pic pixels. Um, I can upload this file and then click insert. Click OK. And then the all important, it, when we're using images uh, online, we, we want to be sure to credit the photographer or the, the person uploading the image. So a nice feature again about this uh, repository of photos is being able to just capture this piece of code right here. So this is giving credit to the, the, the photographer or uploader. I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go back to Moodle and I'm going to go over to HTML mode because that was HTML code. So I'm going to click HTML and just below all of this other code, I'm just going to paste that photo credit and uh, save the changes. And here now I have a, a photo that fits in. I mean, it's quite large still, but it fits into that center block. And I do have links back to the uh, information about the photographer or uploader um, and also a link back to PhotoPin as well. So there you have it. There's how you insert images into Moodle that um, meet the size factors uh, or the size restraints um, that are um, in Moodle. So if you have questions, feel free to contact me and thanks for watching.